Good morning, it's Carol from Her Happy Place, and I wanted to uh, take some time this morning to share uh, this girl, because uh, she's now uh, ready to go out into the world on Saturday, but I wanted to take some time to uh, show you um, how she is all dressed up. You've been, a lot of you have been with me since um, the very beginning, and um, I do hope that you will... Uh, will enjoy this little visit. I'm going to start with the outside. The, uh, the folder has been um, had holes punched in the side and I've run some um, uh, off-white uh, sari silk through it just to give a little bit of a, uh, a touch to the side to balance uh, this side a little bit. Uh, I have uh, use some of my um, um, silk flowers and um, fell, um, suede uh, uh, leaves for the cover and I've made an addition in here. I've decided to include some, um, some off cuts and so I have uh, used my uh, uh, a piece of uh, white fabric To, uh, to add a little touch of pretty. And I've added these papers that I thought you might want to use to uh, use for writing spots or even to add to the um, uh, make a journal, uh, to add to this collection, or just generally enjoy. This is a page, as you can tell, from my um, uh, much loved book. Uh, that is the background of uh, a lot of the pages in the uh, one of the uh, journals in this uh, folder. So that's one. And here is a bit of um, Roxy Creations uh, Digi. And uh, thank you, Rachel. And here is a new piece that I found uh, when um, uh, AC Moore is having its uh, closing out sale. Um, I thought this might just be... Uh, this was white enough to uh, come across as primarily white, so I included that there. And here is a piece of the um, uh, rock paper uh, that I did not use. I thought you might like to experiment with that. Here is a piece of my stamping off paper. Here is a piece of the uh, writing board paper that was left. And uh, I thought you might enjoy having that. Here is another piece of the uh, scrap of the, um, excuse me, <coughs> of course I'm coughing. I'm talking to you. This is another piece of the... Uh, um, my book. I thought that would make a lovely tuck or a folder. And another one. I just love this. And I've enjoyed using it here. This is a piece of the um, uh, Dollar Tree contact paper, shelving paper, uh, that is uh, uh, self, self healing and it's self adhering um, that I used in the first. Uh, black and white folder, the uh, black and white journal that is in the folder. A piece of uh, another piece of paper that I just got from uh, AC Moore, and another large piece from my uh, my book, and a piece of the uh, very shiny uh, photo paper that uh, will always come in handy when one is thinking white. So. That is what you will find tucked into the um, into the folder on the front. Now these were this is just a piece of vintage eyelet fabric that I found in my stash, and I thought it would make a nice a nice closure on this um, on this pile of offcuts. So that will be going in here. And in here. And down we go. And then I thought I'd give you another glimpse of the back of that folder. One of the very original things that we did 
I uh, had fun collaging this entire page to see what I could do with, uh, with the concept of uh, white. Uh, and of course, if you have a concept of white, you see very little unless you uh, put black with it. Now, let's go inside. And in order of doing, I'm going to go to the back of the folder and remove the original, uh, the original experiment with white. And, uh, well, it set me on this path and I shall be back on it because I've kept all of my white goodies together for future reference. We have the, uh, the cover of this little journal, uh, the tuck, a tuck, and um, writing places inside, some uh, magazine paper, some musical tissue, here is a piece of uh, my stamped uh, white uh, fabric, a Mrs. Cog's, uh, one of Mrs. Cog's uh, ladies in white uh, digi, and I uh, ran this off on um, photo paper and uh, sewed it down. And this is the, uh, the Dollar Tree shelf lining, a little uh, tab of crocheted uh, lace, some uh, rock paper that I had worked on maybe uh, a year ago when I bought the pad, and this is uh, watercolor. Uh, watercolor through a stencil, and it worked beautifully as you can see. This is a piece of embossed uh, scrap that I had. This was when I was making embossed white envelopes, and another uh, another writing spot. And when I say uh, white, you must always, in my mind, have just a little bit of contrast here and there. So uh, this is coffee dyed paper and of course uh, this white flowers, but a black background to uh, help the white to show. Another piece of the um, shelf lining with a, a tab, a cluster, uh, stamping, uh, thank you, Rachel, for your uh, beautiful labels at on Roxy Creations. Uh, another of um, Mrs. Cog's uh, beautiful uh, ladies in white on uh, photo paper. And a, uh, another uh, writing place. And I wanted to make a little bit of a color statement here, so of course, this is the other side of that um, uh, coffee dyed paper and uh, the, another bit of that piece of uh, uh, rock paper and uh, a new favorite stamp. And here we have the back cover with a, uh, a lace edged uh, piece of uh, cardstock with some black lace attached and of course some um, stenciling using one of these beautiful uh, brushes to give that lovely, lovely uh, faded and pretty effect with using when using the uh, uh, Distress inks. So, and the back uh, of that uh, with a little bit of uh, uh, white paper from my stash. This is tissue paper that I had stamped off when I was doing something else and uh, some two pieces, three pieces of collage. And I, um, uh, I pushed back some of this, um, uh, some of this with some, um, of course, with some uh, gesso. So that is one of the journals. And here we have the, uh, the big girl. And I thought to myself, now how exactly am I going to get this um, get this to all work happily together? And I decided to close it with some of this uh, nice uh, wrinkled uh, seam binding. But I put the tie down the back, and I attached a uh, uh, a clip here and put that in here, and it doesn't move, and it does the trick of holding this uh, of holding this. Um, journal together. So, let me get a little bit closer. 
I added these three um, bits of, this is contemporary uh, trim, but it is so pretty on here um, that I thought it would be necessary and add a bit of a variation in um, uh, warm white and cool white. And this is a piece of um, wallpaper border, Angelipta wallpaper border. And on the inside, we have uh, one of the pieces of ephemera that I made uh, featuring white. And I've attached it with some uh, washi. And of course, here we have the beautiful faded effect uh, of the, uh, I think I'm going to leave this out uh, so as to remember, of the lovely brush for uh, making that beautiful um, effect with stenciling. Here is some more of it and a, um, a piece of uh, napkin. This is a fold to the back and I carried out the stenciling onto here and the napkin onto here and then I decided to stencil this background with just a little, littlest bit of, um, let me see the color that I used. I know it wasn't black soot, so it had to be something, something. Ah, hickory smoke, a little bit lighter. And I could keep it lighter by using this, uh, this brush. And a, uh, an envelope that I made uh, featuring uh, black and white. And it is going to be um, it is going to be over here because I wanted to pull some of this yellow that's here over onto this page. I like to make the eye move back and forth a little bit. And so now we have one of the um, much loved marbled envelopes uh, from Hobby Lobby and. Uh, Plenty of room for you to uh, include goodies here. And this was shiny gray paper, and I wanted to play up just a little bit of the green from here, and I did that here. And then I followed this pattern over to this edge on this side. So that is the um, let's turn now, and we have. Uh, rock paper, pocket here uh, for use however, and on this uh, page it was a small one, and so, I'm going to keep that here so that I'm not looking for it because I do that, um, this was a piece of ephemera that I had made uh, featuring uh, this lovely um, uh, watercolors from, this, from the book, which you have some up here in your envelope and a um, place to uh, include goodies. And then I wanted to play up uh, some of the uh, green and the yellow here. And so that goes right here. And this comes over. And we have a, uh, a tuck and some of the uh, yellow carried out, some of the sun that uh, is included here. And there's just a little tiny bit of that uh, yellow over on uh, this piece from the book, so I connected this with two clips, and there is no reason why you can't ma cannot make changes to your heart's content. Here, um, it, I didn't know whether to do this or this. Maybe I'll just do this for a while on this one. Alrighty and more of the uh, beautiful uh, yellow um, stenciling using uh, Tim, uh, Tim Holtz uh, stencil. And on the back, a little bit of pink because we were pinkish um, mauve because we're running into that now. And uh, an envelope with a, um, a piece of uh, Mrs. Cog's uh, white flowers. And so we have pink on the outside and a little bit of yellow on the back, and in we will go here, 
and then this goes over here and I'm going to pull it down just a little bit because this uh, other piece is rather a, a nice large one here and up here and then we turn again and we have this uh, card that I used and let's put this in under here and another uh, another envelope this one was made from one of the pages from my flower book and I wanted to play up a little bit of these uh, colors here over here and so uh, I made this uh, envelope and you will have uh, plenty of place to uh, hide tucks and I decided that this journal absolutely needed birdies and that yellow would be perfect so these go right here and the center vellum with its uh, pretty um, can you see it? I do hope that you can see it. Uh, I've, I've, we learned a lesson on using this um, uh, on here. It has a definite gold uh, tinge to it, and it is uh, it is quite attractive. And I used my uh, um, Target's uh, Glimmer Egg on here, and it does it does shimmer, especially if you look at it from from this side. And then the uh, because of this, I didn't want it to. To be hurt too much, I wanted it to have something to lean on so that it wouldn't be um, the natural curl of the paper is fine, but I didn't want it to get folded or ripped. So uh, we made this uh, writing board uh, to use here or elsewhere. And uh, as you can see, this is a piece of the um, uh, paper that I've included the uh, rest of it in the on front envelope. And I put this uh, very wide heavyweight lace on here and we had a little think about how this was going to work so um, uh, I added these flowers just the top and one of the suede green ones and I made two white felt and uh, oh, this was so much fun doing let's see the back ah yes more of um, this is Roxy Creations uh, Rachel's uh, pieces here on the background a piece of my um, collage collection uh, some text, uh, painter's uh, paper, and one of my uh, collection of uh, fussy cut flowers. So we have a writing board here, and the other side of the uh, vellum paper, and up here we have a uh, we have a, uh, a piece of uh, napkin and a piece of the uh, ephemera that I made from the, uh, the book and that's going to go right here and this one is attached uh, this one is attached right here and it is uh, has a nice writing place for you and I hinged it with uh, washi and then we fold over getting to the back of this journal uh, we fold over here and here is a uh, uh, oops card with a, um, a pocket card that I used um, using two pieces of black and white um, cardstock from a uh, from a pad some lace some lovely very old um, uh, vintage lace down here a piece of my uh, fussy cut uh, flowers and on here we have a, a piece another piece from the book that I uh, embellished this is a piece of um, 
Medieval Mirage and Rachel's Label. And that. This um, is again the um, uh, Hickory Smoke on both of these pages to play up this uh, smoke color that's here. And let's put this one. I believe this one is right there. And on this side, we have, this is quite the, uh, quite the full girl. And I have to admit that I have absolutely cannot begin to use the words to say how much fun this was to do. So this page I folded over, turned it into a tuck, used a uh, piece of the book again with some, uh, I, this piece had uh, vegetables on it, and so I covered it up with rock paper, and I used some birdies, and this is the, um, the original uh, watercolor from this page, and that gets tucked right in here, and then this gets folded over, and we have another envelope that I made. Uh, this time, uh, I wanted it to be large and deep, and I wanted to uh, really cover it up in um, in collaging. So these are two pieces from the uh, from the book, and um, a, a vintage piece from a child's um, st uh, stamp collector's uh, catalog. Uh, a piece from the uh, from the book, and let me show you. For those of you who don't know, I'll show you the book. The book that I've been referring to and that I shared with you in the in the um, envelope up here and in this journal is a Diary of a Rose Lover, and this girl is a rose lover, and this book as you can see, is, uh, is just a gem. It's missing some pages now because I'm, uh, I'm trying to share this with you. Um, but this is just a, uh, a treasure uh, of a book. And so I have uh, this piece up here and this large yellow uh, rose down here, a piece of uh, uh, crocheted doily. Uh, this is um, Medieval Mirage, and so, because of the size of this, I decided to put that here. This would cover up that folder, and this would go here. And here, another page. With some uh, with some goodies on it, uh, this was a piece of uh, gray, uh, semi shiny uh, paper uh, that you've seen more of up in the front, and so on the back here, uh, I used uh, a napkin to uh, add this. I made a little tuck out of a little tiny piece of that uh, rock paper with the um, stenciled uh, watercolor. I added a, a, uh, a butterfly just because it brought out the colors here on the napkin so well. This is a piece of uh, uh, Mrs. Cog's uh, white, and uh, that's going in room for uh, some journaling in here. And here we turn over, and we have this, uh, that... Uh, one of the first pieces that I made, this was a, uh, a back that was vegetables or whatever, and so this has got a piece of um, rock paper over it, and as you can see, some um, uh, collaging. This was the, uh, the illustration on the page, some cheesecloth, a piece of my uh, background collage paper, some coffee dyed paper, some medieval mirage, etc. So this one... is going to go, this one is going to go right up here, and if I play this right, it will hold everything in place just perfectly. There we go, now. And 
back here a piece from my uh, one of my um, flower books. It's the same one that I've used sometimes in here. And I just added some uh, places to do, uh, to do uh, journaling and more stenciling. And I'm going to attach that down here. As you can see, all of these clips indicate that these things are not in here for life because you might want to make some um, changes, put things in a different place, take them out and use them elsewhere. And the back here, I have a, uh, uh, a pocket and I've included two of uh, Mrs. Cog's uh, digitals and tuck them in here. Because they played so nicely against this one, but this is one of the, uh, I think this was the second piece that I did in white and uh, had all sorts of fun doing it. And this is, uh, of course, from the, bo the book. And back here I put a, um, a piece of this uh, lovely paper from uh, A.C. Moore, one of the uh, Lady in White pages. And since um, this had a mauve effect on here, I used a mauve pink um, distress oxide on there. And this is just tucked here in the back with plenty of room for journaling. And this is here for the sole purpose of giving a, um, a place to carry, the, uh, to carry the ribbon, which we can use to make sure it comes up straight, which we can use to close, to close this, uh, this journal. Well, I'm looking forward to doing, uh, to doing more of this in the new year, and I hope you will join me again. And so, let's, uh, let's put these, uh, these journals in their, uh, in their uh, folder. And as you can see, this, uh, this, these folders are, uh, are quite good for this. Uh, this, these folders come from uh, Walmart, and it's down it here, and then I'm going to put this one in facing the back so that the flowers will show. And I do, do hope that you have uh, enjoyed my, uh, my share. She is, uh, she is a delight to me. Uh, she has been a joy to make, and uh, uh, she will be available on um, uh, probably on Saturday. I do hope that you will join me again as I uh, plunge into 2020. I have so many plans in mind, and I hope you will enjoy the journey. See you soon. Bye now.